Right, so here we go. Round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Dig and kick. Morale goes to the clinch here early. advantage there with that punch. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And everything's landing with so much power. Lanza, glancing right hand upstairs. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Burrell. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, big punch land. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. And he landed the right hand there. Burrell gets caught with that punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hand on point. Burrell's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. There's the jab, then another. Come on, push through it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick lands. Tags him with the overhand. Big power shot there. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Choi. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, judges had to like that uppercut. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it. And he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Burrell. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. This is a good right hand right there. He's very tricky when he throws that body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. There you go. There you go. Right, a lot of 
tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have the Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. And relax. He had some good striking in that round. Probably won, but that's all right. This round, we're going to turn the tide. Let's turn this in. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Barras. Straight right hand now, just misses. Let's go. I want that over here. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Good jab. Oh, that's a good right hand. Continue to exchange. Oh, Barrow's head kick looked like that one was blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice loop and punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Fantastic team. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. The bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you've got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. And rain down big strikes on your opponent. Left hand punch to the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. A huge knee lands to the clinch. Nice strike. Now he's got the Muay Thai block. Both fighters throwing heat now. Again, you gotta like that. Blocks the shot. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Punch over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Barrow's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. How about that chin? Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Just misses there with the left. 
that's a big strike right there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh! He's hurt. Serves him up. Go get him. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just missed with the left there. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Now a knee. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Burrell. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, worked hard to get up again. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout.